Hey scholars, welcome to another edition of PhD in Me TV, pursuing a higher degree in me. I'm your student teacher, Empress Shona. So today is Wednesday and we are two days out from the tremendous solar eclipse. And I just wanted to come back and, and, and just talk about it. Just talk about what's been going on since the eclipse. You know, I've just been doing a little studying. Um, I know um, a lot of mainstream Christians are really leery of astrology and um, just anything outside of this earth planet, okay? Uh, anything galactic or out of this world. And so um, I don't have any fears. <laughs> of anything but God. And so, um, now that does not mean I'm not provoked to fear, does not mean that I am not tempted, but ultimately in my soul, in my spirit, I know the truth of 2 Timothy chapter one, verse seven, which says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And so anytime I'm tempted or provoked to fear, I stand on that scripture and I stay grounded in that scripture and my soul knows that fear is not of God, okay? And that love is of God, okay? And that I, God is in me and that um, his love keeps and protects me and always will and will eternally, okay? And so um, with that said, I, as a spiritual Christian, I want to just talk about some of the great and exciting things that um, I have been experiencing since the eclipse, but I do want to make it clear. I um, do not have the false belief of astrology. Astrology assumes that the stars exert influence um, over human destiny. And I do not buy into that belief at all. God created the stars. God created the earth. God created the galaxy. So all of that is, is biblical and all of that is what it is, whether you call this supreme force God or universe or my Bible refers to this entity as God. God is the one <laughs> who, who enables mankind, okay? Um, the stars awaken awe at God's power and his infinitude and his wisdom. They help us to keep track of time and place and they provide light, okay, enable us, which therefore enables us to see. And they remind us of God's faithfulness, okay? But wisdom comes from God, not the stars, okay? And you can find more information about that in James chapter one and five. So I'm glancing down here at my notes. Why? Because a spirit scholar studies and takes notes, okay? Especially if they're going to be um, speaking on some of the items that they've studied. And so, as I said, wisdom um, comes from God and um, I am not in any way um, under the notion that a star of any kind is going to determine my destiny. God determines my destiny. Amen. And so I'm excited about that. But um, God, even throughout the Bible, has used stars um, as signs. Jesus was always talking about nature. He generally used agriculture to illustrate his points. But it's all created by the hands of God. And so whatever Holy Spirit speaks through you to you um that's what you're that's what you're to do all right and so anyway i'm just excited about what holy spirit has been speaking to me as i've used the eclipse just to represent new beginnings new beginnings and i i that is not unusual for me because i really appreciate and enjoy new beginnings so back to the the the, the exciting parts of that eclipse energy so a couple of things I just wanted to share. One of the things that came to me that evening 
um, first of all, I could feel, I have very sensitive in spirit and in body. Um, I'm the type of person, I get seasick on huge cruise liners. Like I can feel the motion <laughs> of the ocean and it makes me sick. And that's a huge cruise liner. Don't even try to put me on some little teeny, a little small boat, none of that works. I just get overwhelmed. So I really am sensitive to uh, nature. I'm just sensitive to nature, uh, allergy, you name it. Sensitive to nature, it really affects me. On the day of the eclipse, um, I felt crampy as if my menstrual cycle was gonna start. I thought that was odd. It, 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 it lasted like the whole day. And um, not too long before the total eclipse took place, I started getting a headache. And I immediately associated it with the movement of the moon. And I just so happened to be nearing my home and I said it out loud and my daughter said, I do too. And I just knew that she was experiencing that as well. I just counted it all joy. I, it wasn't frightening to me or anything like that. I just, you know, it just was what it was. I felt blessed because I know that I'm a part of this whole creation. So it makes sense to me that I would feel something, you know, especially me being sensitive to it. And people like us who have those sensitivities. Um, it, for example, another example, my husband and I were in our room and we were talking and I all of a sudden said, what's that, what's that, what's that? And he said, what's what? And I said, you don't feel that? Are you serious? And um, later on he called me and he said, there was an earthquake. And I said, what? He said, there was an earthquake. Everybody, all my coworkers are talking about it. And I said, I told you, <laughs> I knew I felt something. You know, and he didn't even feel it. So everybody has different gifts. Everybody has different, um, you know, inclinations tuned into different things. And that's just, when it comes to nature and all of these types of things, um, I, I, my body is very sensitive to that, yes. My spirit picks it up and my body's very sensitive to it. And sometimes it's um, inconvenient, <laughs> really. Like I said, when you're on a cruise, you not that's not the time you want to be picking that up, you know? Or even with the moon, I mean, I'm not wanting to feel crampy, okay? So it might sound like, wow, that's cool. And I appreciate it, um, but it's not always the most convenient, all right? So um, anyway, but I'm extremely grateful, hallelujah. So I just wanted to bring up a couple of things. Um, like I said, one thing that came up was fresh starts and I have really been on a roll. I've been setting my intentions. I've been um, just moving forward in the things that Holy Spirit has been speaking into my spirit and I just feel like a clean slate um, took place as that um, moon passed between the earth and the sun and came out on the other side uh, with the sun on display once again. And I've just been taking advantage of that clean slate and positive movement and positive progression for me in that, in that way. The second thing that came to me was whenever you're feeling stagnant or fearful, you're provoked to fear in any kind of way, remember that taking action erases fear. Taking action erases fear. That message came to me on the night of the eclipse. And it just resonated big time. So I just need to share that with you. And I've been taking action, taking advantage of this clean slate, and I'm just been seeing awesome manifestations. And then the third and final thing that came to me on the night of the eclipse was forgiveness and taking inventory. I was surprised to discover um, that somebody that I hadn't even thought of in years, um, whom is not relevant in my life, and I only met maybe twice, um, but unfortunately, one of those times was very, very negative. That person out of nowhere came up on the night of the eclipse. And I was just so shocked. I just recognized the person right away and the negative energy came up and I just indulged it. And then I could hear Holy Spirit say, ooh. And I said, well, and I said, ooh, like that. And um, I thought, oh no, I don't want this. 
oh my goodness immediately the eclipse came to my mind hallelujah i just thought i i have to forgive i didn't even know wow and i started thinking about this person and the way they came up the way this person came up on eclipse night was in a very negative and annoying way and that was originally feeding into the negative energy that had come up but once holy spirit said "Ooh," and i said uh <laughs> i said i don't want that to be from that i realized you know what i need to forgive i need to let go of my judgment but the thought of that person it was negative for me it was just a negative thought like oh like that I don't even want that though. That's what came to me on Eclipse Night. Isn't that a wonderful gift? That I don't even want to think about. And that's what I was saying to the Father. I said, I don't even want to think about anybody and go, ugh. Like, no, that's not what I want. That's not, that's not the journey that I'm on. I want to be able to release that and just think of everybody with love. Doesn't mean I need to be around them. And me and this person will never be friends. Not friends, no. But I don't want that in within me. I don't want to think about anyone and go, ugh. <laughs> right? Because at the end of the day, they're a human being. And that's not easy. Right? But I know ultimately that's where I want to be. And so from that point, I started for the first time ever. Oh my goodness. Just thinking about it now. I prayed that God would um heal me that um i would completely forgive this person and um i couldn't believe it i said this person's full name and i said yeah i kept repeating i forgive you i forgive you i forgive you eclipse night and i knew i knew right then and there that was a gift for me i knew that this person coming up was a gift to completely purge me and just set me free. And so that goes back to, to point number one, just that clean slate, clean slate. So I had a clean slate, I had that fresh start, I had that overcome fear by taking action, and finally I had that forgiveness, forgiveness and that purging, purging, and that new direction of wanting to be more, of laying down and casting away all judgment uh, towards mankind. You gotta be smart, but you don't have to judge, okay? And so that's what I wanted to share with you scholars. I'm super excited, you know, um, I, there's so much more to, to come on the journey. And of course I plan on sharing with you guys every day until it's time to change course. Um, but right now we're still here in this course, one-on-one, <laughs> and having fun. <laughs> so, um, you know, I just thank you for watching this video. I pray that you've been encouraged by it. And um, if you have, make sure that you subscribe. Like I said, I'll be here every day, and you don't want to miss um, a post. You don't want to miss the video. So make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and tell me what wonderful things or uh, whatever. Tell me what you experienced on the day of the eclipse or the night of the eclipse. I found that most of my revelations came in the evening of the eclipse, okay? And so that, I, listen, I'll take them. <laughs> They've all been so positive. So, um, and why? Because God loves me as he loves you. And so that's all he's going to give me is positive. Mankind, in the midst of their illusions, may give me something different. But all God is going to give me is something positive. Amen? And full of love. And so with that, scholars, I want to remind you that I'm coming at you with the joy that gives me strength. Know that you are loved because indeed you are. And make sure that you share, like, and subscribe. Abundant love, beloveds.